Hey, everyone, welcome back to Manuals Plus. Today, we're elaborating the connection of TP-Link Extender RE230, RE330 let's get started. Power on. Plug the extender into a power outlet next to your router. Wait until its power LED turns solid on. Set up. Get the up-to-date Tether app from the Apple App Store or Google Play, or simply scan the QR code. Launch the Tether app and log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have an account, create one first. Tap the plus button and select Range Extender. Follow app instructions to complete the setup. The Wi-Fi sign LED should turn solid on, indicating successful connection to your router. Relocate. Plug in the extender about halfway between your router and the Wi-Fi dead zone. The location you choose must be within the range of your router. Wait for about 2 minutes until the Wi-Fi sign LED turns solid white. If it doesn't, relocate the extender closer to the router to achieve better signal quality. Access Extender Settings After setup, you can access extender settings via any of the methods below. You can reselect host network, change extended network settings and more. Method 1, via the Tether app. Connect your smartphone to the extenders or router's network. Launch the Tether app, select your extender, and log in. View or change extender settings as needed. Method 2, via a web browser. Connect your computer or smartphone to the extender's network. If you are using a computer, unplug the Ethernet cable, if any. Launch a web browser, enter HTTP. Ugh. Slashed blink repeater. Net in the address bar, and log in. View or change extender settings as needed. LED explanation. One mesh with seamless roaming. TP-Link one mesh router and extenders work together to form one unified Wi-Fi network. Walk through your home and stay connected with the fastest possible speeds thanks to one mesh's seamless coverage. Unified Wi-Fi Network Router and extenders share the same wireless settings, including network name, password, access control settings and more. Seamless Roaming Devices automatically switch between your router and extenders as you move through your home for the fastest possible speeds. Easy Setup and Management Set up a one mesh network with a push of WPS buttons. Manage all network devices on the Tether app or at your router's web management page. To check full list of TP-Link one mesh devices, scan the QR code, or visit https Ugh. slash www tp-link com slash one mesh or compatibility. Frequently asked questions. What should I do if the Tether app cannot find my device? Try another method by following the steps below. Connect your smartphone to the extender's network TP-Link extender. Launch the Tether app and select your extender. Follow app instructions to complete the setup. What should I do if the LED doesn't turn solid on after completing setup via the Tether app or web browser? You may have entered incorrect Wi-Fi password for your host router during the configuration. Check the password and try again. Make sure the extender is close to your router preferably within 16 feet and away from large electrical appliances. If you have enabled wireless Mac filtering, wireless access control, or access control list on your router, disable them first, then follow any method on the front page to complete the configuration. Try setting it up via the WPS button. Reset the extender and go through the configuration again. How do I reset the extender? With the extender powered on, use a pin to press the reset button for one second. The extender will reboot. Thanks for tuning in with Manuals Plus today. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tutorials. Catch you in the next video.